that we are able to make uh, a few on uh, a few issues affecting our county and especially more and mostly the problem we are having in uh, Juja sub county right now of uh, the hyenas menace that has caused the lives of uh, so many of our young people so this is a press statement by by I myself the governor and the team accompanying me here uh, the statement is as such that I stand in full solidarity with the residents of Juja who have been living in fear and mourning due to persistent hyena menace. This deadly threat has tragically claimed lives with the most recent attack against a five-year-old boy in Nyashava in Wetaidi ward, serving as a grim reminder of how dangerous these wild animals have become. The death toll now stands at more than 10 people, indeed informally, uh, the numbers we know are way beyond 22 people who have since uh, these men has started uh, lost their lives. A number of residents have also been injured by these beasts. This is a shocking and devastating figure highlighting the severity of the situation. All these cases have been reported to the police and to the Kenya Wildlife Services, uh, popularly known as KWS. The frustrations and protests by Juja residents are not only valid but legitimate. They have been left to fend for themselves, while the Kenya Wildlife Service, KWS, the very agency tasked with managing and controlling wildlife, has shamefully abdicated their responsibility. Despite numerous appeals from both residents and the county government of Kiambu, KWS has failed to act decisively and consistently in taming these murderous animals. The reckless abandon with which hyenas are killing innocent people is unacceptable and cannot be ignored any longer. There are also disturbing reports of wild animals raiding even Deya, Ngecha in Limuru and Kikuyu sub-counties. It is appalling that KWS has treated this life-threatening situation with casual indifference while families are left mourning their loved ones. The blame lies squarely on the government agency which bears the sole responsibility for protecting citizens from dangerous wildlife. We cannot allow ourselves to be put in a position where we have to choose between the lives of our people and animals. The choice is clear when it comes to that, that our people's lives matter. As the county government, we have done our part and we have worked diligently with the local residents to seal off disused quarries that have become breeding grounds for the hyenas. These quarries which the hyenas have used as hideouts have been a focal point of our effort to prevent further mayhem. However, despite these proactive steps and our continuous communication with KWS, it appears that our pleas have fallen on deaf ears. It is now time to hold KWS accountable for their inaction. The agency must urgently deploy its resources to round up the hyenas terrorizing Juja and the environs and relocate them to game parks and reserves where they belong. These wild animals cannot coexist with human beings. KWS must act immediately before more lives are lost. There have been only empty promises by KWS and as a result, more lives have continued to be lost. My question to KWS is, how many more deaths must be recorded before you act? Do the residents of Juja deserve this? We demand action from the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife, Rebecca Miano, under whose ministry KWS falls. Madam C.S., as you settle into a new position, please make this issue a priority as the residents of Juja are suffering. You wait to the people of Juja and Kiambu, indeed, to resolve this crisis. Finally, I wish to state that we will not stand by and continue to mourn our people, our beloved ones, while KWS remains complacent. The time for action is now. So let KWS act with the urgency and the seriousness 
that this dire uh, situation demands. So that, that, that's my statement. Uh, and uh, collectively, the statement of uh, this team here that, uh, that we have. And I want to emphasize uh, quickly that since, since uh, I became governor, continuously, it has become an everyday affair. Barely two months passes without us going to Juja, to Nyashava, to Weteidie, to Juja Farm, until it has now become the order of the day. And as most Kenyans saw recently, the residents of, of Juja, and indeed the environs, re resorted to going to the road to block the road, but ultimately, it is an expression of their disgust, an expression of their despair, that that's the only th thing they can do. But that does not remove the hyenas from the environs and areas where they are living. The boy, the young boy, who was mauled and killed by the hyenas a few days ago, was going to the shop, barely at dark, having been sent by the mother, a five-year-old boy, to go and uh, get maybe a packet of milk and back to the house just nearby. And they, these hyenas have become that daring that even barely when it's dark, they are lurking there around the houses in Juja. And when they see a boy, a young child like that, they grab the child and kill him. There are cases where limbs, legs of people who have been mauled and completely devoured have been seen in the morning. Recently, uh, we, 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 we had reports and confirmed that a leg of a man was, was being seen in the quarry. I personally went to Juja to mourn a mother who was mauled by the same hyenas and killed. Recently, another mother again, who just sells Uji around uh, to the quarry workers also, lost her life. And the list is endless. It is countless. And every time we invite KWS, I as the governor invited KWS here in my office twice, including the rest of the security team, to discuss how do we deal with this thing. And we believed, and we have complied, and we have cooperated, so that, that these menus will be put uh, to a stop and a complete halt by KWS. But immediately, when uh, we have the discussion, we agree on a course of action, we deploy for a day or two, then you can't tell what happens after that. They disappear. They just disappear. And uh, the mayhem continues. And this is why we are saying also, as the people of Kiambu, I as the governor, I cannot stand anywhere else but with our people. And we have said we have had enough. We have had enough. So we have to now contemplate action. What action do we take? As I've said, we just can't sit and watch by. As our people are getting killed, children, women, what? Men. Just being, uh, they've become the feast of these uh, hyenas. We are demanding, we are demanding that there has to be immediate decisive action. Immediate decisive action. And we don't want any more of the stories that have been told here before by KWS. That we are going to come, or oh, we don't have cars, we don't have what. That is not acceptable anymore. And like I've said, as residents of Kiambu, I as the governor, we will be there with the people. And now we will have to come up with our own formula. We have respected the rules and said, let KWS do their job and relocate these animals and ensure that our people are safe. Because we did not want to take the law in our hands. But we cannot wait anymore. No other life is going to be lost as we watch by. Yeah. So we, we just have to get this message very clear to KWS so that they can take immediate action. And uh, tomorrow will be too late. We'll be burying that boy amidst a lot of tears on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Why would a mother lose a child they have they have sired and taken care of and taken to school and fed and brought up and they love just because for more than a year 
two years that the agents have just decided not to do what they're supposed to do in their duty to ensure that the conflict between human beings and wildlife is resolved. So and that is our position. Niseme kwa Kiswahili ya kwamba sisi tumekuja hapa kutoa statement yetu tukiwa tunakemea kwa sauti kubwa na kwa kauli moja hii hali ambayo imekuwa inaendelea hapa kwetu Kiambu haswa huko Juja lakini sio Juja peke yake ni mahali kwingi ambapo sasa binadamu wamekuwa chakula afisi wakati mimi nilichaguliwa gavana hapa tumezunguka hapo kila siku unasikia kuna kifo cha mtu fulani tunatembea kule Juja tunaenda tunaita watu wa KWS tunaongea tunapanga alafu wanasema tunakuja tutachukua hatua ndio tumalize hii shida baada ya siku mbili wezi kuwaona tena mimi kama governor nimesema niliwaita hapa kwa hiyo ofisi yangu mara mbili tukaketi pamoja na security team na tukasikilizana utaratibu ni kwamba hao watakuja wakae pale huko upande ya juja yote huko vitaithi wakae juja farm huko kalimoni wapi wa, wa, kila siku na wa deploy kikosi kidogo hapo ndio wahakikisha kwamba hizo ofisi zote zimerudishwa kwa pak baada ya siku chache hawakuonekana tena